So what a week it's been for Oklahoma fans in terms of transfer portal news, where you got a big-time win, you lost a big-time player to the transfer portal, and now, once again, we're back in the studio to talk about Brent Venables, DeMarco Murray, and the Oklahoma Sooners getting active in the transfer portal. This time for a very talented running back who just played for UT Martin, Sam Franklin, today. We need to talk about why this is such a big addition, but we also need to talk about something that Sam Franklin could provide this offense that may be underrated, but I find to be an incredibly compelling factor. Before we dive into all of this, you all know the drill. I have got to hear from you. Hop down to the comments. Give me a Y for yes or an N for no. Are you excited that Sam Franklin commits to Oklahoma? And let me know what you're thinking. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Hit that bell notification as I do constant college football content. You don't want to miss any of it. And if you enjoyed the content, be sure to like and comment down below as those interactions seem small they are massive but having said all that let's jump right into this and first and foremost who is Sam Franklin well as I alluded to in the intro Sam Franklin just got done playing at UT Martin where he was hyper productive on the ground he accounted for over 1300 yards 11 touchdowns and averaged over 6.2 yards per carry he stands 5 foot 10 and 190 pounds but he wasn't just a running back that got active on the ground this is also a guy that got active in the passing game where he had a touchdown and over 100 yards there as well and that's something we talk about all the time here on the channel if you can get a running back that just has that level of versatility, I think you absolutely do it. Because anything you can provide the defense to think about is a win for the offense. What do I mean when I say that? Well, if this is a guy that you can have shoot out on a route, get him the ball quickly, the next time he may shoot out, the defense may drop to account for him and you can hit someone deep. We talk about this all the time, using players as chess pieces to make the defense think something's going to happen and then take advantage of that assumption. Getting a guy with the versatility to be used as a running back that you can use as a receiving threat that provides the defense something to think about. It gives them an assumption that you can take advantage of, and I certainly find that to be a compelling factor. When we turn on the film, there's a lot to like about Sam Franklin. This is the type of guy that when he finds a crease, he's going to hit it and hit it hard, and he has got the ability to take a small gain into a huge gain. He's got burst, explosiveness, and agility, and when you combine it all, makes him a really tough running back to get to the ground. But what was I alluding to in the intro when I said he could provide something that may be overlooked, but I would find to be incredibly compelling? What was it? Pass blocking. And I know that might not sound like it's going to be a huge difference, but let me explain. Though pass blocking isn't going to be on any highlight reels, it is going to be incredibly necessary for the Oklahoma Sooners. Oklahoma's in a position where they're going to be starting a brand new quarterback. They're going to be replacing their entire offensive line. So if you can get someone in that backfield that understands defenses and understands where pressure may be coming from, that could be huge for Jackson Arnold and the Oklahoma Sooners. You need someone in that backfield with the experience to help out your young offensive line and your young quarterback because Jackson Arnold has all the tools. He just doesn't have the experience, and he's going to have to play a lot of games to get that experience. Being able to pair him with an experienced running back that could say, hey, I think that linebacker is going to be coming on a blitz. I'm going to sacrifice my body, and I'm going to deliver a block so that you can get the ball out. That's the difference between a sack and a touchdown, and I think getting an experienced running back that can help you in that area is huge for Oklahoma. Once again, it's something that's going to be often overlooked, but its value is tremendous. Having a running back that understands where blitzes are coming from and can pick them up. It truly is the difference from a bunch of sacks as compared to a bunch of touchdowns and positive plays. I love this addition for Oklahoma. Yes, you like the running back room you currently have, but getting a guy with that experience I think is big because right now on offense, on the offensive line, you're lacking that experience. You have very talented guys that Bill Biedenboe recruited that I'm very excited to see how they do once they start gelling together but they just don't have in-game experience. Remember, talent is not the question right now for Oklahoma. It's simply experience. So getting a guy with that experience to help everybody along, I find that to be a compelling factor. Hop down to the comments. Let me know what you think about Sam Franklin in this edition for the Oklahoma Sooners. That's it. See you.